Hello and welcome. My name is April Ray, CEO and founder of TheIntrovertMogul.com. Thank you for joining me on iMogul TV. So today I wanted to do a review of one of my favorite uh, social media posting platforms um, called Post Planner. I know there's a lot of them out there. This is my all-time favorite. Um, if you're thinking of, of um, hiring some sort of social media manager that's going to cost you hundreds of dollars, maybe even thousands of dollars, depending on your networks. I, I urge you to take a look at Post Planner. Now, it only posts for Facebook and Twitter, um, but it also posts in Facebook groups as well. So you can post simultaneously in your Facebook profile page, your Facebook business page, and Facebook groups. It's an amazing tool that is really gonna, you could just set it and forget it. And what I do is, um, I usually take uh, maybe a day, a Sunday, where I just load up all my posts. And I'm gonna actually go through and do that for you today and just show you how easy it is to create and find different posts and some tricks that you can have so you can find sources of your own favorite um, Facebook pages that you like that might have different posts in there that you can also implement and add to your post planning posts, okay? So what you're looking at right now is the postplanner.com homepage and just uh, go ahead and take a look at how it works. Um, it helps you find the best content for your audience. I know when I started using this, I love using quotes and my audience actually love quotes. In fact, if I post anything that has to do with business, I get very few um, engagement. But what Post Planner does is they find the most engaging content on the internet, on, the, on Facebook mainly um, and other places but Facebook we're going to talk about right now and they find the most engaging comment uh, content that has found or has uh, received the most comments the most uh, shares uh, the most um, likes and they give them to you and you can use them as well and they really work I mean when I choose, um, I like to go in and choose the type of posts that I'm that I that I'm thinking of, or something that's moving me and that has a high rating or has a lot of status um, updates in them, has a lot of likes, and I share them, and I get an equal amount of likes from my from my own network. So it helps you find the best content. Um, it basically takes the guesswork out of your posting and the performance. It gives you stats on your performance of your post performances as well but I love how it takes the guesswork out of trying to figure out what to post. Before Post Planner, I was scouring the internet, going on Google, trying to find you know different quotes and things like that. Um, and I'd find little places, but it wasn't automated. And this is uh, completely automated once you set up your posts. Um, so you're not spending hours a day planning your posts. Um, you're in control of your social media strategy. So I totally, totally recommend if you're trying to figure out how you're not having to spend hours and hours a day on Facebook, you know, trying to post, trying to engage, this is a perfect tool. So I'm gonna go into Post Planner, my page, and the very first pa thing, if you see normally, it'll have this little pencil with posts, and this is actually showing the posts that you already have planned, which I don't have any yet. So um, you can, once you have some, you'll be able to go in and edit them. If you wanna change some things around, you can edit them from this area here. Uh, the next one is planning. So when you go in and plan your post, it actually gives you a setup, how you can set up the time of day and the days of the week that you want your posts to uh, hit. And you can also hit the types of uh, posts. So at eight o'clock a.m., I'm gonna have a text post, if I've chosen one, a text post is gonna, sh is gonna come up first, um, starting at 11.15 a.m. If I have image, which normally I do, the image is gonna post for first in that day. At two o'clock, it's gonna be another text post, and at five o'clock, it's gonna be another image post. Now, I don't use the articles. They do have articles in here. I don't find that those get very much engagement. And uh, with Facebook's um, new rule about articles, where you can't really go in and change the image or change anything about the article, I just don't really fool with those anyway. So, but you can, and I'll show you where to find the articles if you wanna um, go ahead and post articles as well. Now the find, this is where you go to actually find your posts and what you wanna post. And for some reason I woke up with allergies, I don't know why, my nose is all stuffed up. 
So it'll show, um, this is popular, the popular posts, um, the particular industry that you might be in, uh, arts and humanities, science and technology, food and beverage, retail causes, education and teaching, health and wellness, um, just the whole gamut of, you know, they have fitness, small businesses. And if you notice, these are articles. If you look here, this is highlighted when it's dark. These are the articles. Uh, that you can add to your posts and then these are the photos and we're underneath arts and humanities so these are the photos uh, with the the memes I guess you could call them that you can uh, post on your page um, if we go down to fitness it'll have fitness posts and these are just the general um, industries. So sometimes you're not gonna see a whole bunch. You, if you click up here, you can click the newest one. You can click the ones that's been posted um, in the last week, month, and then all of them. So um, there's quite a few posts. If you go to all, you'll find a, quite a few posts that you can add. And I'll show you how to add it in a second, but I just wanna go through how to find your posts. So those are industries. Um, status ideas. Um, there's questions. Questions are really good for engagement. I love this. Um, I love the idea of being able to use questions to help uh, engage. And these are some of the most popular um, questions. Um, and I think they're random, but let's see here. You can do a keyword search to find your own. Let's see, how about business? Okay, so you click, you type in business and it starts to give you little quotes and things that pertains to business. I love this, I love this. And these are, um, some of these are questions. Uh, fill in the blank. You can ask for likes, right? You can have, click the fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. I'm declaring this my summer of, and then you have your audience fill in the blank. Um, you can also do contests. How many cups of coffee is too many? Comment below for a chance to win a $10 Starbucks gift card. See, they, it even gives you an idea, right, of what you want to uh, use for your, your, your contest prize. Winner will be picked at 9 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. So it gives you really great ideas that you can implement on your page. You can insert your brand, right, your product, which I wouldn't suggest on your profile, but you can definitely use it for your business page. Um, we have fan love, there's promo, there's trivia, there's deep thoughts, which I use a lot. Um, so if you don't want it on, a, on an image, sometimes you want to mix up your text and your images. So instead of having an image with the quote on them, you can just have the text itself. Weekends and work, you know, if you're people that, if you have a, um, an audience where a lot of people are nine to five, then you can have questions related to, you know, weekends and work, right? And it just goes down the gamut. Spring, summer, fall, winter questions, right? January 24th, happy birthday to John Belushi, I guess. <laughs> here's some, here's to some sunglasses at night. Um, just really fun stuff that you wouldn't be able to find if you're searching it just randomly on Google to try and find these things. They make it so helpful. Um, recent finds, these are my, let's see here. Let me go to photos. So these are my um, finds that I've added. And I'm gonna show you how you can add your own pages where that has content that you might want. This is ClickFunnels uh, that I've added, right? You can add your own content. I have um, personal branding, because I'm very much into personal branding that I can add to my, to my page. Um, just the whole gamut. These are just the things that I've found myself for my content. Um, oops, let's go here. It's also under, so there's recent finds with my content, right? And then there is, um, oops, where'd it go? My content also, it's under there. Oh, hold on. These are my recently, okay, so these are my recently saved um, content, okay? So I'm gonna go in and start finding some ideas. What I usually go is to status ideas first, and I like to go to, where is quotes? Let's do popular. Here, here we go. I like popular. So I go to popular first and I like to go to quotes and see if I can find some quotes. Now it's automatically putting me on statuses. I wanna go to photos 
and I'm gonna just find some quotes that I wanna to add to my site, and I'll show you how it all works. Let's see, never put the key to your happiness in someone else's pocket. I think I'm gonna share this one, so I'm gonna go over to this little arrow that's pointing to the right, and I'm gonna click that. Oops, sorry, that's not true. That actually goes to the actual post. So this takes you to the actual post. Um, this expands it makes it bigger and you can X out of that and then this right here sends it to Pinterest so I'm gonna hit share and what I want to do is um, I don't want to reshare the original post I just want the actual post and I don't change you know I don't put my own branding on these I don't worry about trying to brand them I'm just sharing content and engaging I don't I, I don't want to take away from the actual person that has um, created the the uh, the post so I make sure that their um, information is still on the post I don't change that but I do uncheck that and then I just hit add to plan now um, while that's going if you look up here this is just gonna go to my Facebook page so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over to plan and these are my default plans so I had this is my regular profile play, page and you can add depending on the um, plan that you have and it's really inexpensive and you can add um, a lot of your pages if you have a lot of groups that you work in if you have other business pages you have the ability to um, to post in all of those this is one of my groups this is another group this is my Facebook page and this is Twitter okay so when I go back over to find and I want to go to quotes what I want to do is let's find another quote that I have not let's see used. Uh, complaining is finding fault. Wisdom is finding solutions. I like that one. Let's share that one. And it got a lot of engagements. It's got five stars on here. Okay, it's got if you if you hover over, it's got 643 likes. It's got four comments. So this is a really good post. And I'm going to uncheck this. And I'm going to add one of my uh, planner, one of my sites. So I'm going to add my Facebook page and uh, maybe my Twitter. Hit OK. And then I'm going to just add to plan. So very simple. I love this tool. And like I said, I go through the day. I, I take one day and I just fill it up for the week. You can do it for two weeks. I usually go about a week, maybe a week and a half, and I just start finding content and status ideas. Now, a, now a way to find, if you look up here, where you're in the you're in the find section, it gives you uh, hourglass and it gives you the ability to to put a Facebook page in there. So I'm going to go over to Facebook. And let me first see what do I have already let me go over to my recent finds so I don't duplicate something that I've already found uh, blah, blah, blah. okay let me go over to my mentor Let's look at Bob Proctor I love Bob Proctor and look at his he's got quite a few so I don't know which is going to give me the best results but we'll go over to this one it's got 866,000 people on here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy his excuse me I have to sneeze <coughs> excuse me like I said somebody something got up my nose and I, I have al I don't usually have allergies but for some reason something is just up my nose and it's driving me crazy so I'm going to take I'm going to copy this I'm going to go over to Post Planner and I'm going to paste it in and see what it pulls up. So it has it in there. I'm going to copy that or click on that link and it gives me some of his status quotes, updates. And um, depending on how much there, there are here, I'll, I want, if there's a lot there that I can use, sometimes I don't want to use stuff with too much checks. Like this one right here, I'm going to expand it. Um, it's got a lot of text. Well, not too much, but some of these have a lot of text and you don't want to use stuff with too much text because you know people don't like to read too much, especially when it comes to um, Twitter. Uh, so yeah, okay, so let me close that out. And I like that you can expand it so you can read it because it looks kind of small here. So I'm seeing he's got, he's got some good content that I could probably use. 
see here. So I'll probably, like some of this right here, I'm gonna expand that. Only you can decide to develop an unflinching, unflinching will to concentrate, to stay focused on your chosen objective until the task is complete. That's a good quote, but it's not one of my favorites. So I probably won't use that. Um, oh, what did I just see? I saw a good one right there. Where did it go? Where did it go? Here's one. Let's look at that one. You are the mental architect architect of your own destiny. I like that one. However, when I look at the handwriting, sometimes if it's cursive like that, um, I notice, and this is just, I'm not saying this is true or not. I'm just noticing sometimes if the text is too, I don't know, if it's using cursive text, some people don't read it. I don't know what it is, but I notice that I get less engagement, but I'm going to use it because it's short. So I'm going to go ahead and hit share. I'm going to click off the reshare original post. Now you can put your own, you can go ahead and actually type in the quote. You are the mental architect of your own destiny. I like that. Put that in quotes. <clears throat> and you can also put tags if you want to. And you can put, um, I'll put my introvert mobile. Um, sometimes I will put my link, my web link to my website, or a link to um, maybe an affiliate product if it's um, in conjunction with the actual post that I'm posting. Now, understand with Facebook, they don't like links very much. So I only do it on some of my posts. And what happens if you put a link in there? It doesn't get to all of your audience. So Facebook kinds of hides it in your feed, lower in your feed, and it doesn't really get to the top of your feed or it doesn't really get to all of your uh, audience. So some of them I'll do, some of them um, I won't. Sometimes if it's a really good quote, it doesn't matter and people will, the more people that engage, the farther it will get on the feed. So I don't really have a, a hard rule as to not putting a link. But just watch it and you know, you'll see what works and what doesn't. So I'm not going to put a link on this one right now, but I'm going to add it to my plan and it's going to go to all of my, uh, the three of my most popular pages and, and, and groups. And I'm just going to add to plan. All right, so sorry I had to take that phone call. So I'm gonna find another one, and I won't keep you on here while I do it, but there's one, oh, I like this one. Now this one only has two and a half stars, but I still like it, so you know, my audience might like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and share that one. Believe in yourself. And I'm gonna, on this one, I'm gonna put my, oops, I'm going to put my website. And, oops, <laughs> and also, since I do like it, let me hit add to plan. I'm gonna save this Facebook page. I wanna start, I wanna be able to use this. So what I do is, I just hit, if you like a page and it has enough quotes and things that you can use, just hit save. And now, it is in your recent finds or your favorites, okay? Love this. Now, another thing you can do is, if you hit this little pencil here, it incorporates Canva. So if you have a Canva account, which is free, um, they have a free and paid version, you can actually create your own post. This is an awesome feature, right? You can create your own post, and let me actually see if I'm logged in. Can I go to my, hold on, can I go to mine? my design that I already have and uh, let's say I want to add this one right here and because it's a Facebook post it's going to mess up my design and all I got to do is just fix that right and then all I have to do is hit publish 
and it should add to my blah, blah, blah. And there it is. There it is. And you can hit add to plan. Uh, let's see here. Put a status in there. This is awesome in order to get it to, and then hit add to plan. You can either hit add to plan or if you click this little arrow here, you can share next, share now, or schedule your post. Okay, share next is just like hitting um, add to plan. So I'm not gonna add that one. And I think, let's see, was there anything else that I wanted to share about this, this particular, I think that's it. The fact that, the really, I love the fact that I can find my own pages and add them in here of my favorite quotes or my favorite mentor, or you know, you can put, if you love Tony Robbins, he usually has some good stuff, you can add that in here. Um, I think that's an amazing feature and like I said, I just pick a day where I start choosing all the things that I want to add and I'm set. Set it and forget it and just watch it go through and watch the engagement. I know one of my clients used it and she told me, oh my God, when she wasn't getting any kind of engagement because mainly she was posting posts about you know her business and things like that, nobody was engaging and she started using Post Planner and people started sharing and liking and engaging and she's super excited and it's a really great platform and it's not expensive at all. All right, so that's it. I just wanted to give you my post planner review. I give it a thumbs up. It's an awesome platform. Don't spend a whole lot of money with social media managers, you know, doing things and usually they're not doing the way they, that you want them to do it. Take your business into your own hand. Use a platform like this and set it and forget it. Okay, so thank you for joining me. I will see you on the next video. Oh, one more thing. If you like this and you like iMogul TV, please subscribe to my, uh, my YouTube channel. If you're watching this on Facebook, leave a comment. Tell me if you've used Post Planner before or if you've never heard of it and you're excited about getting started. I will put the link in there so that you can get started today. All right, thank you for joining me and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.